Hey, this is Mike. Got in our second Eco Diesel, and this one is a Ram 1500 Longhorn with the Eco Diesel V6. This one's got a lot of features to show off. Here in the front, we've got a projector headlight, LED accents, we have front parking sensors. Check out that grill. Has like a wire mesh look to it. You got your tow hooks there in the front. Fog lights. Nice big 20 inch wheels. It says Longhorn right there. You got your Eco Diesel badge as well as your Longhorn badge. This one has the side steps. Now one of the features of this vehicle is a remote start here on the key. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. You notice it beeps twice and it starts up. And you can hear that. You can hear a little bit that it's a diesel but it's not very loud. Now since it started I'm going to go ahead and put the key in my pocket. And it has the proximity key, so I'm going to put my hand here on this handle, unlocks everything. I can relock it by pushing this button, like so. So that way I can use the vehicle without actually taking the key out of my pocket. And go ahead and open it up again. Go ahead and start on this side. This is a premium truck. It has a black and brown interior with some wood grain accents and this is real wood you can actually feel the wood grain in the wood you have some stitching right there pockets cup holders stuff like that awesome floor mats with the longhorn badge in them you got the power seat and this is a heated and cooled seat perforated you see the perforations there Got this patch here in the back, Longhorn Edition. Shows you how to take care of your seats. You've got some filigree designs here. You get the Longhorn. This is a bug compartment there, as well as down here. And you have a place to put a full size file folder on this side and on the other side of the console. This is a crew cab truck, so you have the full size back door with uh, plenty of room back here for the passengers. You have the badges here. You have this belt buckle looking design for this here. It is actually um, magnetic, but it still has that belt buckle design. The seat lifts up, and we have a fold flat feature. It kind of folds flat like that in case you want to pick up something from Lowe's and you don't want to put it in the back of the truck and uh, of course these legs will fold out in order to have a stable surface now under here is your Alpine subwoofer and, and amplifier underneath the seat on the other side underneath the seat you'll have some storage and speaking of storage underneath this awesome floor mat that we have it goes all the way across we have um, a storage container under here and get this mat out of the way and under here you have a nice storage bin that comes out empties you can some people use that as a cooler you can put some ice in there since it is a uh, you can pull it out and dump it if you want do have the armrest with cup holders right here you got some cup holders there you have some heated seats here in the back there's the controls right there and there, plus a power supply. You have vents back there, as well as down here. A RAM badge right there. And the inside of the back doors are just as nice as the front. You got a big speaker, stitching, pockets, all that good stuff. And this is, uh, here's the back. Now, this truck has the parking sensors in the back and the front. It also has the backup camera. You can see the lens right here. 
that's a uh, kind of like a GoPro type lens where it's wide angle so you can see all the way from the trailer hitch all the way out I mean it's you'll be able to see everything straight to the ground now the ta tailgate locks and unlocks with the keys when I unlocked it yeah, the tailgate locked unlocked as well this is a spray in bed liner which is really nice it keeps any kind of moisture from getting between the bed liner and the actual metal of the truck to avoid uh, corrosion and stuff we do have the four-way and seven-way pins here for your trailer And you see the the exhaust noise is almost nothing back here. It's not like the Hemi. In here you've got your diesel fuel capless design plus you have your uh, DEF fluid which is right there. It has a seal right around this like so. Right, so this is the same thing on this side. Here's the window sticker. You see the gas mileage is pretty good on the highway for a truck this size. But let me show you. Under here is your storage. So you can put stuff in there and it's not going to roll out and get in the way. We do have uh, heated side mirrors. And here's the inside of the driver's door. We've got pockets here at the bottom and there. And we have your door lock controls, power window controls, side mirror adjustments, plus you have a, a folding side mirrors, which we'll show you that in a second. Like that. You see both of them fold in and fold out by pushing that button. In case you're getting in a tight spot, you can go ahead and fold them um, with push of a button. You have power seats with presets there and lumbar support. And I will get a look under the hood before it's over. But let's turn the volume down, turn the fan down. It does have automatic headlights, adjustable pedals. I'm talking about the brake and gas pedal down there that will adjust and you can of course it has steer, tilt steering and once you get in the vehicle these 14 rams they just have a really good sound protection I guess you could say because it's really quiet in them but anyway here's the steering wheel let me go ahead and tilt it down a little bit heated steering wheel it has a real wood here at the top which is pretty grippy it's not it's not slippery or anything and uh, the rest of it's leather wrapped with some stitching there very comfortable high quality feel you've got the ram three-dimensional ram there which is pretty cool and on the back of the steering wheel right back here I don't know if you can see that but right back there you can turn the volume up and down has a volume toggle switch there and on the other side I can change the stations right on the back of the steering wheel so I'm going to turn the volume back down on the front of the steering wheel this is where you gear up and down because this is a 8 speed transmission there's the actual shifter there so you can gear up and down if you want to like say if you're going in the mountains or down a steep grade you can downshift or whatever here is your cruise control. You do have to make sure it's turned on and then you can set it. Now on this side you have your Bluetooth uh, phone. Once you pair a phone you can push that button. You can make calls. You can receive calls. Voice recognition right there. You can push the button and say tune to a certain station. These arrow buttons correspond with this menu here in the middle of the, the gauges. You can see the gauges are really nice and 
kind of embellished in a western look for the Longhorn edition. Now right here in the middle you've got a menu system and the camera has a little bit of a glare but it's not really that much. I, mean, I, I don't see any glare with my naked eyes here but the camera is kind of picking up a glare. So I can scroll through. Right here is a speedometer and I can scroll through and get some more information like say here's the vehicle information there's the tire pressure I can scroll to the right and get get exact figures on different engine related things there's the fuel economy right now it's a little skewed um, because of its uh, just got off the truck there's your different trips trip A and B and then there's your audio what we'll be playing if you had any stores stored messages uh, like say change the oil or something like that you they display there and you can change the screen you can set it up with like say right here it says in for north and over on the other side it says, it says the temperature you can change that to miles per gallon or different things like that and it scrolls back and there's the speedometer there's your DAF uh, gauge there there's your diesel gauge there it's got some nice stitching here in the dash and everything's pretty much soft to the touch. Alright, so over here we've got like a pocket and a nice wood grain around it. And then here's your 8.4 AN Uconnect system. Now this one has satellite radio, AM FM, has the ability to uh, stream music off of your uh, Bluetooth device like your phone or whatever and check out that longhorn in the background isn't that cool and like I said the glare on the camera is kind of looks kind of significant but really with your naked eyes there's no I mean it looks pretty clear so kind of have to see one in person to see what I'm talking about and uh, it does have a CD player which I'll show you in a minute auxiliary input it also has uh, like I said Bluetooth and an SD card which I'll show you in a second and USB controls this is where you find your heated and ventilated seats so I'm gonna go and turn mine on high because it's a warm day uh, you can have the heated steering wheel you go to climate this is where you'll find your climate controls you can sync them or you can have dual climate controls those are there's some redundant buttons down here just to make it a little bit easier to navigate through Speaking of navigating, here's your navigation. You can say where to and go to a specific address. You can view the map. And this is a Garmin system. It's very easy to use and intuitive. And once you get used to it, it's, it's hard to go to any other um, navigation system. And this is where you'll find your phone. Uh, once you're paired, you'll have some favorites there at the top. You'll have recent calls, your phone book. Um, you can dial, stuff like that of course it has to be paired with the phone before you can do all that stuff and in here you'll find some cool apps you do have to you know you do want to register your Uconnect system um, but one of the things I want to show you is uh, travel link which is really cool uh, you can get fuel prices and it tells you, you can sort it by distance or price and then once you find let's say you want to go to this particular one it tells you where it is but also you can call them or you can or you can say go now and the navigation will tell you exactly how to get there now that's handy if you're in an area where you're not familiar with and uh, you can basically find a gas station near you that's reasonably priced and you can also do that with movie listings in our area there's no places like that so we're out in the middle of nowhere weather this is really good current weather three to six hour weather which is uh, important if you're out on a short trip. If you're on a long trip, you've got some um, five-day forecast. If you're going to be in an area that's unfamiliar to you, you can just quickly find out what the what the weather's going to be like. And I keep going back to um, you can have sports. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, let's see what the traffic looks like. No traffic jams apparently weather map it kind of gives you like a rough idea of what the weather's like in certain areas which is convenient and you can zoom in and out 
So lots of cool stuff in, in travel links. So that's what I want to show you. Now another thing I want to show you is um, see right here where it says via mobile. Some of these like Pandora and stuff. Some of these will use your data off of your mobile phone. So you want to be aware that if you're using that, then and you have limited data, then you, you know they might go over your data pack. So keep that in mind. All right, so there's the redundant buttons. You got your volume. You can tune to a certain station there. Right here is your climate control buttons, just like what was on the screen. But you can you can um, adjust them there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse, just so you can see what the backup camera looks like. As you can see, it's a everything's rounded because it's a wide angle lens. You can see really far to the left, right up and down, and you can see it right down to the ground, right where the bumper is like right even even the the ram symbol you can see and all the way up to the sky so it's a really good view and uh, as I turn the steering wheel I'm turning the steering wheel now you'll see that those lines are moving because that gives you an estimated trajectory of which way the vehicle is going to move as you back up so it kind of helps out when you're backing up in a certain space because it's a little you know especially get getting used to a backup camera it's a little disorienting because it's kind of you know it's in reverse so that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna put it back in park. And I do have another video showing how the parking sensors work if you want to check that out. Alright, so down here you have some more redundant buttons for the heated steering wheel, heated seats, stuff like that. You also have a traction control button. Um, you can turn that off if you want to. The default is on. So if you want to spin wheels or whatever, you want to turn that off. Tow and haul button, you want to push that on if you're going to haul a heavy trailer. That keeps you from going into overdrive mm -hmm. because this does have an 8 speed transmission. Parking sensors rear and front, you can turn those off in case you know you're going to get close to something and you don't want to hear the beeping noise. There's a 115 volt AC, 150 watt power supply. Plug a regular, regular outlet like you would in your house in there. It's not going to run hair dryers or anything like that, but it will, you know, charge your laptop or something like that. Pockets everywhere, there. Place to put some business cards right here. You got a power, you know, traditional car power supply there, 12 volt. And you've got a nice big, big pocket right here. Cup holders here. Place to put some more stuff there. Now right here is your armrest, center console. Really cool longhorn here with some stitching really comfortable and soft this lifts up it's kind of like a clamshell design and you have a place here where you can put like a you can put like a tablet or a small laptop here and charge it you have a USB you have a USB charger you have a USB input SD input and auxiliary inputs right here for your radio that's what I was talking about earlier and you have a little convenient little place there in here for wires to go out like if you had a handheld device and you wanted to run the wire in there and charge it, you can do that. Now this whole thing lifts up, and this is where you'll find your CD player. And a nice big huge pocket, and the little pockets there on the side. Up here we have the auto dim rear view mirror, as well as 911 and, and assistance, roadside assistance is right there. On top, these little things, that's your speaker, that's your microphones I mean. For your Bluetooth system. Garage door controls are here. Right here is an infrared sensor for your automatic climate control. This is for your power rear sliding glass, which is pretty cool. You got some tap lights like that and sunroof time. It's got a vent. You push a button to vent it. You can close it like that, and you can open it up, and you can close it. And if you just don't want the sun in your face, you can close it up all the way like that. This one has the Alpine Premium Sound System. The camera, the microphone on this camera is not really going to do it justice, but I just wanted to show you, it does have some speakers there in the ceiling and you know I showed you the subwoofer and stuff so it's really cool that uh, the sound in this vehicle all right as promised let's check out the engine
right there, 3.0 liter, turbo diesel, eco diesel. Got your insulated battery right there. What's interesting about the batteries is cold weather. The heat apparently doesn't bother them, but the cold weather, you know, causes problems. So they just go ahead and put a put a coat on them. So that helps them last longer. Alright, if you have any questions, let me know. My phone number and email address will be in the description, or you can just leave a comment. See you next time.